Hello, this is Chad Trofkerman, here doing a tutorial in Adobe Dreamweaver. Now, this is my first tutorial for Dreamweaver, and as such, I think I'm going to make it pretty basic, because Dreamweaver is a pretty complex program, and if you haven't made a site before, it can be very overwhelming. And so, I think I'm going to do this first tutorial pretty slowly, and this tutorial is basically going to just introduce everyone to how to basically get a website kind of started um, as opposed to you know getting into all the technical stuff right away so okay so how do you start a website well it's quite simple it all starts with a folder keep that in mind every website you make you want to have a folder pertaining to it that's pretty much the easiest way to say that once you create your folder you want all of the site files in that folder to stay in that folder basically so it's organized and Dreamweaver is happy that everything is in the same place basically so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a new folder to kinda of get us started here I'm gonna to go to my desktop here to create this folder now that might not be the most ideal place to create a website on the desktop but just for this tutorial that's what I'm gonna do just for simplicity's sake so I'm going to name this video underscore tutorial. Hit enter. Okay, I have my folder. The first step to starting your website is now complete. Okay, we're going to go back to Dreamweaver, and now we're going to tell Dreamweaver that that folder is actually home base for our new website. So let's go up to site, new site, and now we have a whole bunch of options we can work with. We are just going to focus on the first two lines here in the local info for today, and that's site name and local root folder. The site name is anything your little heart desires, but make sure you name it something that makes sense to you so you can come back later and be like, oh yeah, that name is what my site is, basically. And so I'm just going to name this video tutorial that yet again because that is what this website is. It's my video tutorial to you guys. So now, the local root folder is the folder we just created. The local root folder is the home base for our website. That's where everything goes and that's where everything's going to be grabbed from. So let's browse for that folder. Let's click on desktop here and now let's click on video tutorial or whatever wherever yours is located and whatever yours is named and hit choose. Okay that's all we're going to deal with for today we can deal with all the other stuff at, at another time in another tutorial so we'll click OK and now a new dialog box pops up it's the files dialog box and as you can see right here where it says local files we have our folder right here that folder is empty right now but that's going to change in a second for we are going to create our first page Dreamweaver usually brings up a welcome screen for the default setting and this is very handy because you can create documents just by clicking on these little icons right here so let's click on create new HTML click that and now we have a new HTML dialog box open or page open the first thing you ever want to do when creating a new page is save it as a matter of fact you want to save a lot when working on anything because you never know with computers so let's go to file save and let's name this it's as you can see we're in our video tutorial folder which is where we want to be because we want all the files to be in that video tutorial folder or whatever you named your folder because that way Dreamweaver doesn't get confused and everything's good so we're gonna name this page index basically what index means is it's the home page and when you finally upload your site to a server like nine times out of ten the server is gonna look for index.html as a home page and grab that one and that'll be the first page of your website the server brings everyone to and that's very important to remember so we're gonna name this index for right now hit save and there we go. As you can tell, it's named index.html. 
Now then, before we go, I'm just going to talk a little bit about linking objects together because that's pretty much a very basic feature you can do in Dreamweaver. So I'll show you guys that before we end this tutorial for today. So as you know in websites there's links everywhere. Links pretty much link everything together if you will. So and Dreamweaver makes this really easy to do. So uh, let's give this a try here. Um, let's type out uh, some words here so we can link it to an external website on the internet. So let's type out click here and you can automatically type it's already pretty much ready to go so you can just go ahead and start typing and we have our text there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight it with our cursor and we're gonna go down to our properties box down here where it says link now you can browse for files on your root folder for instance let's say you create another page and you can link you can just browse for that page on your uh, on your root folder and just link it right here very simply and that's what you're mostly going to do when building your site but for today let's just um, dem to dem demonstrate this more easily let's link this to an, an external site so where it says link click on the uh, dialog box and let's type in one of your favorite websites just pick one so but when you're typing out the URL of this website be sure you have HTTP colon backslash backslash first otherwise Dreamweaver won't recognize this as a URL so HTTP colon backslash backslash and then now you can type out the URL of one of your favorite websites so I'll just put in my personal website since you know it's the best ever <laughs> and we'll do that and we'll be done with that okay when you hit enter or you click off after you're done typing you'll notice that click here has changed to blue and underline in its default form this basically means that this is a linked text and you can change the color and you can change the format of that and the preferences of your website if you don't like it that linked text look like that but that's how the default looks like and that's how you know it's uh, linked so what we're going to do now is we're going to test this so let's uh, go to file save and make sure what we just did is saved and now let's go to the globe here and go to and hold and click that and then let's preview this in a browser your browser list may look differently I'm just going to preview it in Firefox since that is my favorite browser so click that and we'll launch Firefox and now we are basically previewing the site in the web browser it's not on the internet it's just locally you're just seeing this locally as it would look in a web browser and as you can see here we can click there so let's try your link out click it once and see what happens voila it took me to my website I hope it took you to your website so and that is just one of the very very basic features of Dreamweaver Dreamweaver can do so much more, but I mean, I don't have nearly enough time to cover all of it in this tutorial alone. So that's why there will be future tutorials. And so I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I hope you will in your website travels, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.